we do pitch the roof about three inches. Mm -hmm. But it's a constant maintenance issue, and we do take care of it, but uh, uh, you really shouldn't have a flat roof in this part of the world. Yeah. And like I say, I was young, and I fell in love with the hexagonal skylight in the living room, and that uh, pretty much set me on the course of a flat roof. Mm -hmm. We have a fun little story that I love to tease my son-in-law. And that is, Jill and I were in Sweden about 10 years ago, and our neighborhood had a micro blast. It's kind of like a mini tornado. Hmm. Came down the street and uprooted many, many trees. The whole place was a mess. A big oak tree fell on our property. Many trees fell on the roof. The skylight inside the front door blew off. And Brad looked in the creek, and he looked all over our property for the skylight. And so he boarded up the hole, and we got back from Sweden, and I went on the roof, and I walked from that end this way, and on my left, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a skylight in the family room. And I did a double take, because I don't remember having a skylight in the family room. <laughs> and it was this skylight that just blew 20 feet over. Funny. So I, have to this day, teased my son-in-law <laughs> as often as I can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because he boarded it up the old, he could have just, he could have just it moved it over 20 feet. Put it, back it was actually in the most convenient place. <laughs> anyway, it was quite a storm. Yeah. And, uh, so, that's kind of a brief uh, story of this house. Yeah. We've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I've been very fortunate to have it. Yeah. The kids have loved it. They grew up here. My son loved it. He loved the creek. He loved the cabin. He loved the mud when we had the mud. <laughs> And uh, mm -hmm. uh, I can leave this world knowing that we, we did it. Not every architect builds their dream home. Yep. I can find many faults with it, but at least I know I did it. Mm -hmm. And Dad helped, and uh, we d designed and built it. Yep. So it's been a pleasure and a big part of my life. Who else helped on it? Because I know you've done work with, with Roy. Brother-in-law is a carpenter. So, uh, my brother in law, Leroy. Uh, my sister's husband, Leroy. And uh, he became a partner of my dad's. And the two of them spent many hours here. I also have a very good friend, a Mr. Genson. And mm -hmm. he's helped me a number of times. Mm -hmm. And uh, helped with the floor when we replaced the floor. And, uh, but I love it myself. So, I, of course, I have thousands and thousands of hours into it. Sure. Uh, none of which I regret, but I'm at the point in my life where it's harder and harder to do that. Mm -hmm. So we're ready to move on. Yep. And uh, always know that we had a good time here and enjoyed developing the house. Yep. Wonderful. It's simply the house. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for doing that, John. Thank you very much. This has been yeah. a wonderful, yeah. wonderful tour. I look forward and to I seeing will, your uh, video. And I will <laughs> post it on YouTube and probably give you some of the ad revenue I get. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll split it. Okay, sounds good. 60 for you, 40 for me. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again.